So apparently, I'm not very good at toss launches. As you can see on the uh, comments of my toss launch video. <gasps> Dude has the throwing strength of a paper towel. Bro is probably the guy in mobile ads. What they say, this is facts, yeah. yeah. So in this video, I'm going to redeem myself and I'm going to automate a toss launch. Now, if for some reason you clicked on a drone video and don't know anything about drones, a toss launch is basically where instead of taking off like a normal person, you throw the drone in the air and then start flying. We're gonna create a launch out to handle the toss part of this, kind of like a toaster, but much more powerful. Now, I considered a lot of ways on how to do this, but we're going to take inspiration from how a toaster works and adapt that system for launching a drone. Hopefully you can follow my sketches here, but we've got the base, the rails, and a spring-loaded platform. The springs will run from the moving platform to these points here, and when you pull it down, it builds a ton of potential energy, which will release using an electronically controlled latch. So the first thing I did was start building the base, and after about a day, I had a rough working model. Firstly, check it out. That's the design. It's looking so sick. So this is the servo and this is going to be controlling the latch to launch the drone. And this is pretty much going to be going right here. Think of this as pretty much an arm that you can control using an Arduino, which is a microcontroller. This is how I'm planning on releasing the platform once it's loaded. And although it's something a paperclip could probably handle, the advantage of using the Arduino is that we can reliably control it from a distance. We're going to worry about that part later though. For now, let's just get the drone launching. We're going to put one of these springs here. We're gonna place one end up here and the other end on the bottom here, so that when this moves, push it down, it'll lock here, and then you release it with the servo, and then this platform goes bam. Now, that's all well and good, but when it comes to 3D printing it, there's, you know, some other considerations that we need. One of them being that the rods that the platform is going to be sliding on, they, they're like 80 mil tall, and if we 3D print that, it's very likely gonna snap on the first go. So we're going to order some metal rods, so that way it's less likely to break. So we got the metal rails and printed out a prototype. All right, let's see if this one fits the rails. All right, maybe we can sort of hammer it in a bit. All right, this is so sick. Look at this. So with the springs in there, we've got the rails in and it's, it's working so well, look at that. Although I'm still missing the pointy bit in the middle, which actually does the launching. So I added this and I also added a bigger platform on top. And I think it's almost done. At least done enough to see if this launches the drone any considerable amount. I think ideally we'd like to aim for about two meters. Let's see how far it goes up. Three, two, one. What was that like? 10 centimeters, maybe 20? Uh, boy. At this point, we've pretty much just recreated the toaster. In, in fact, I think some toasters are more powerful than this. <laughs> if we're gonna get to two meters, we need 10 times more power than what we're doing here. But I wasn't hopeless because in my assortment of springs that I bought, there were these hunky springs, which I didn't really want to use because they seemed scary with how much force it takes to open them. But what we were currently using wasn't working. So I replaced the springs and I reloaded the launcher. Oh my gosh. I will say it definitely feels like there's a lot more energy in this setup now with these new springs. Three, two, one. That was pretty good actually. That was like a, that was like a meter, a meter and a bit but it still needed more tension to get it higher. I considered using even more powerful springs, but I realized that we're only using half of the rails with the moving platform. So I thought it would be a better idea to extend the pillars by about three centimeters, which should produce enough force to get it to the two meter mark that we're aiming for. At least that's what I think. I I'm really just taking shots in the dark here. <laughs> so I printed out the new design and I used an actual hammer to install the press fit rods. And we now had our fourth prototype of this. 
Oh my gosh. It's kind of scary how much we're pulling down on this to get it down. It, it feels like the whole thing is just going to implode it on itself. Let's see how high it can launch the drone now. All right, three, two, one. That was all right, that was like two meters. So the good news is that we had the height. The bad news is it was taking a lot more force to pull out the pin than I originally expected. So we're gonna have to swap out the tiny servo that we're using with a more beefy one. I remodeled the design to fit this beefy servo and somewhere between the previous prototype and this one, we lost the hammer. Anyway, the servo isn't functional yet, so we're gonna shift our attention to the Arduino and the latch. You know, how we've sort of set it up here is this little lever here is going to pull a pin out, which will trigger this to, to shoot up. However, if you don't remember, it took a lot of force to pull this out to trigger this. So before we mount the Arduino onto this, we're going to wire it up, code it so it can pull the pin, and then we're gonna see if it can actually take the force to pull the pin out. I don't even know if it's strong enough to do it. So. Let's, uh, let's wire it together and see if, see if it works. Now, I could be wrong about this, but I feel like this contraption is kind of like a bow and arrow. When you shoot a bow and arrow, it needs to have an arrow in it or the force doesn't go anywhere and it actually goes into the bow and it can shatter and it can just snap and break. And I feel like that's kind of the case here. So if we trigger this, to shoot up without having a drone on here. The force has got nowhere to go. And so it's gonna go into the actual 3D print that we've made or into the top here and then break something. So we're gonna make sure that when we release this, it always needs to have a drone on top of it. Before any coding, I wired the components together into the Arduino. Now the behavior we want is when you press the button, it toggles the server between zero degrees and 90 degrees. I spent a good hour of time putting together the code and I uploaded it. Now, we should have control of the servo. But somehow I completely forgot to install the button. So once I flick this battery on, which pretty much just caused it to sweep between zero and 90 degrees, no, which it's not supposed to be doing. That's not the behavior we want. It took me a few minutes to realize that I didn't install the button, but now it should work. We should now have control of this. So if we turn the battery pack on, changes and we click the button. Well, that didn't work either. I realized that I forgot to add a snippet of code that toggles it between the two angles. And instead it was just moving from one side to the other while the button was being pressed. So I made this last change to the code to make it toggle. And now our little servo can toggle. It literally just works. <laughs> From here, I attached a piece of string to the latch, and now we can control the release from the Arduino. So it technically should work. Let's give it a go. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna press the button, and it should release. Three, two, one. Oh my God. That is a good sign. Okay, hang on. Let's try that again, let's try that again. <laughs> that was so sick. So, so that was straight up just a clean launch. No breaking parts, no things flying everywhere. Let's try it one more time to make sure it wasn't luck. Three, two, one. Yes! Now the plan is to trigger the latch by having a button that I can press with my foot. Pretty low tech, but it should work. At the moment, the button is sitting a little too close to the launcher. So I spent that night adding a big long cable to the button so I can launch it from two meters away. Well, we got here at the butt crack of dawn so we wouldn't be annoying anyone and still people here. So that's the launcher, and then we've got this really long cable, and then this is the platform that I'm going to use to trigger it. So basically, I'm just going to step on this with my foot when I'm ready to launch it. That's a high-tech contraption. And now, 
we load the launcher. I realized that when you armed the drone, there's a very slight lag spike, and by the time it smoothed out, the drone was already on the ground. So the idea of launching it and then arming wasn't going to work. So I tried it again, but this time we're going to arm the drone and then launch it.